Hello, hello, welcome to Keto Mom Secrets. Good I am morning. your host, Steve Milky. I'm here with the lovely Stephanie Milky, aka Keto Mom. And guess what? Today we are going to recap the compound effect, how it's impacting our life, where we're going, and how are we together as a community going to become the best version of ourselves. Yeah, I love it because I feel like you want to be on a talk show. Well, I've always been told that I have a face for radio. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't Do know. you get it? Good morning. <laughs> All I know is I'm ready right. to eat some elephants. I'm ready to own 100% of my life. I don't know. What, you tell me what eat an elephant means, but really quick. I mean, it's in the book. We're eat tuning it. in from Tennessee. What city are we in? The Ripple Effect. Uh, we are headed, we're just outside of Pigeon Forge. Has anybody been to Pigeon Forge before? We're kind of in the Gatlinburg, Pigeon Gatlinburg, Forge area. Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge. That's where we are at. Such it is, a good book. We were trying to sit with our backs against the mountains, but... The light wasn't great, so, so I'll show you. So we wanted to be naughty and show you some pine. Get it, naughty pine. Man, you are full of it today. <laughs> I've only had a couple drinks of my ketones. Just wait. The best is yet to come. All right, so as you're tuning in, anybody else traveling? We got to go on an airplane yesterday. Smiling. It was, it great. was so great to great. see people in the airport it actually smiling was so again. great. <laughs> Make smiles great Ugh. again. All right. Oh, oh, that's your alarm. That's yours, just so you know. No. Okay. I don't have any. We did something new this morning. We're going to recap the book that we're I going do. through. We're going to start the new book that we are going to be going through on Monday. So if you're watching this live, it's Thursday. Thankful Thursday. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for the view that I get to see right now. It's beautiful. Oh, me? Thank you. I love the view. You get to see this every and day. And I love the view. <laughs> I love the mountains. Anybody else? Okay. Would you, do you prefer ocean or mountains? Do you prefer like water or like, it's a fun question, right? You have to answer below. Oceans or mountain? Coastal or mountains? I'm on, I know there's mountains on the coast. But. Mountains on the ocean? Yeah. We should go find them. Probably Big Sur would be one place I'd like to go to. Yeah. All right. We're in Tennessee. It's beautiful. We want to recap the book that we're going through. If you're brand new, we go through a book every morning to help you with your mindset. If all you want is recipes, go to ketomomsecrets.com. Ketomomsecrets.com. And you will get 101 so many recipes on how to get started, helping you with your food. I share recipes and things every single day. But I believe, and I think you believe, the power of your mindset is so important that if you don't get this right. It's the foundation. I don't know if you're going to reach your goals. We'll just say that. It's if you true. do, you might be cycling back and restarting every year. Do you ever think that complexity can also be the enemy of yes. execution? So we could simply talk like, about that today. You know, you, I think about this. Can like, you say that again? I don't, what did I say? Complexity, complexity is, the enemy, is the enemy of execution. The naughty pine did you guys? I feel it's like. That, that has to be someone's quote. I definitely did not come up with that. I just, I wish I could give credit complexity to Complexity is the enemy of. Maybe I've just taken a whole bunch of stuff and thrown it together. Execution. execution. You should write that down. Everybody, Thanks, honey. Not I everybody. Don't I don't from. like to globalize. We don't let our kids do that. It is so interesting the amount of questions that I get and how complicated people try to make things. And Steve was saying, if you had to give one <clears throat> takeaway from the book, what would it be? And there's a couple of them. I just love that you show the merry-go-round. But honestly, the entire book, this book, Big Mo. Uh, we've gone through like the Miracle Morning, Atomic Habits. We've gone through so many books and it is the power of choices. Choices every single day that you make. It's not your... like. You're, I mean, I think everybody on here is adult, so it's not the choices your parents are making for you today. So true. Your parents aren't making you dinner today. It's not the choice. It's not like your mom is being like, go to the, well, maybe your mom is still telling you to go to the gym. But like, <laughs> I, what I mean by that is this, your goals, the things you're focusing on, the things that you're getting currently in your life is the result of your choices that you're making or lack thereof. And if we sit in this exact same place next year and you don't like where you're at, it's because of the choices that you make every single day. It's spot on. That is the truth. So <clears throat> what are the things that if you are currently sitting on a place where you're on that Ferris wheel and that merry-go-round and you're like, oh, it's stuck. It's not moving. It's definitely not going the woo, woo, the woo effect that we kind of talked about a while ago. And if you're like, what are you talking about? Just go back. Did you find it? And you keep going. I closed it. Or I'll I moved find it. it. Um, but the reality is, is every day 
is a new day. Every day is an opportunity for you to choose to kind of create a new path. That could be, you could change the way that you're thinking, you could change the way that you're believing, you could change your daily actions. Today's the day that you can actually improve your routines. Today is a day that you can become not just 1% better, but you can make a total shift that can be so much better in the long run for you and your family. We did something new this morning, besides waking up in Tennessee. We are working on meditating. Who on here meditates? You're like, I don't even like Listen, that. I don't even like the word. I actually am working on not having a preconceived thought of meditation. I like to think about positive thinking and get in my thoughts and gratitude in check before I get up. Anyways, we did some meditation. We're going through something. I don't even know what it is, but it's a... This is a morning meditation. This guided morning meditation. A guided morning meditation. The first thing she says, you ready for this, is, ah, So he started it. Headache. There's, like, this guy that leads it. And see, and he talks about, like, talks about your space and, like, being mindful and letting, like, you do one at night and one in the morning. And Steve's like, are you listening? And I was like, it's giving me a headache. <laughs> I thought it was good. <laughs> but... That's something that we're working on. Just being aware and being present and being mindful and being thankful before you get out of bed. And doing the same thing of like repack, recapping your day at night. It's pretty crazy. Like if you look at it from a scientific perspective, how your brain and your body is going through these different phases. He's like learning. Your brain's processing this guy's in teaching different phases. So at night, your body's kind of winding down. And it's a way to kind of look back over your day and say, all right, so what are the things that I didn't do so great? What are the things that I could have done better? We do that at a lot of our events. We always talk right. about, like, what's one thing that you like best? You could do this with your family at dinner time. You could say, all right, when you think about today, oh. what's one thing that you like best? What's one thing that we could have done better? And usually that just equals people just giving a griping session. But when you can say not only one thing that we could have done better – but it has to have a solution to it. It gives your life, it gives your mind and your body the ability to say, you know what, tomorrow I can do this to improve it. You're not allowed to complain. So you can do this with your kids, whether you go one thing you like best, one thing that didn't go so well with a solution. You could do this with your family when you have dinner or you're driving in the car to drop your kids off at sports or you're wrapping up the day. Hi, low buffalo. Our friend Steve Weatherford does yeah. this with his family. Yeah. So he taught us these words, but like, if you want to connect with your kids and recap your day. Do you hey, want to start doing that again? I always like that. What is your high? What is your low? Yeah. And, and what is your buffalo? your buffalo? Buffalo is like, what was something that surprised you today? And if you have a low, like Steve said, we do this in business, but you could do this with your kids. Like if that didn't go well, what is a solution to make it better next time? So good. It's a great way to get your kids to talk. It is. So I'm curious, what questions do you all have? You can put them down in the comments, and if we can read them, then we will answer some of them. Yeah. But I think we wanted to just come on here, hopefully encourage you, say, happy day, whatever day it is that you're happy watching day. this. Happy <laughs> day. Every day should be a happy, happy day. Happy day. Um, but we wanted to just really encourage you, like, you have the ability to create a compound effect in your life. You have the ability to shift and change and move and give yourself the grace, like, give yourself the freedom to say the past is the past. You can break free from that and you can create a new path. I hope you understand that. Right. Like, and even, I would love to know one thing down below in the comments, like what's one thing that maybe you're going to try shifting today? I'll give you, this is so silly. Usually I don't take a shower till after CrossFit. Guess what I did? This morning I took a cold shower. I just flipped it all around. Flipped it. Just flipped the script. He likes to change things up all the time. I do. Constantly. To not get in that hypnotic rhythm. Is that what it's called? Hypnotic, hypnotic rhythm. rhythm. So oh. you don't do things unconsciously. You don't know why you do them. Half your day is ran that way. And then you actually are aware of your choices. You make better choices and oh, therefore awareness. get different results. You Oh, awareness yeah. is another word for consciousness. I don't like but that word either. you don't like that word. Even though do they any of you have words hand. you don't like because so, yeah. they were taught from somebody yep. and you're like, I don't like that. I, I do. don't like meditation. I don't like consciousness. So I like to think of different Good words thing to that use. was in the past. In the past, I did not like those words. All right. So to recap, I actually, if good. you did this book, if you went through this book with us and you really took it to heart, do, was oh, there anything that see, you took away? she doesn't away? like that word either. I agree, Carrie. I do not like that word. What, what At least word? in the past. The I word I said? Learn, no. What word? Moist. I like the word moist. I liked moist cake. Keto cake, of course. 
I say it often because I think it's funny. <laughs> I think you say it often because you know it makes me squeeze. Okay. <laughs> if you have one takeaway or one of your action steps that you've done from this book, I'd love for you to share below. Is there something that's changed the way that you make choices? Uh, a consciousness that you have made, an awareness, an action step. Like, is there something that you've done? Are you making fun of that word? No. I feel like you're making fun of that word. Remember, learning without execution is useless. <clears throat> uh, don't overcomplicate things. Your health is super important. We talk about lots of different spokes in your life. But honestly, oh, that's you again. Again, I apologize. I don't even know how that happened. All right. Anything you want to wrap up with? Yes, because I we're do. gonna go look around at the mountains. I do. All right, this is gonna be good. Are you ready? Do you have your seatbelt on? Because I see this bullet point and it's just sticking out and I'm ready for it. My ketones have kicked in. All right. Identify three areas in your life where you can beat the expectations. What kind of limiting beliefs have you put on yourself? Where have you just said, you know what? I've just settled. Uh, it is what it is. I'm just gonna accept it. That's just the reality. It, I'm accepting it as it is. But guess what? Today's that day. And what can you do to create wow moments in your life? Like, how could you shift it? You shift it so much that those Keep wow talking. moments become mom moments. Because what's wow upside down? It's mom. It's mom. And there she is. Like, here's what's really cool is that the book that we're getting ready to go into, not only is it from my mentor that I highly look up to, but honestly, Stephanie was rip roaring through that thing on the air. Like she's got the <laughs> gift of speed reading. Uh, I bought a know course what I did? from Jim Quick because I'm trying. I'm actually attempting to learn faster and l learn and read quicker. Yeah. Because somehow Stephanie can go through this entire book and have it outlined by the time I'm done with the first sentence. It's just crazy. It's a gift. <clears throat> um, I read this book yesterday on the airplane. We did this book first as a, as a brand new married couple. I forgot how great it was. I actually bought it because I remember our daughter has been talking about finding purpose in her life or what she wants to do. And this book popped into my head. So mm -hmm. I was like, hey, can you order that book for Amelia? It was sitting on our counter and I was reading. Well, we decided to do it here. We're going to start this on Monday. If you're watching live, it'll be in a couple of days. If you watch this a year down the road, just get the book and read it. But I was reading this and I'm probably halfway through again, just to recap and underlining things. Mm -hmm. And I honestly, I'm going to tell you something that I did that I don't do. Oh, I want to know. I started crying in the airplane. No way. I did. You, she was sitting right in front of me. I, I see this. am working on uh, tuning in with my emotions because I'm not a crier. What is but going on? I have do you a feeling. all realize what this means? This is going to shake people. To a, in a good way. I was like, this is going to, there's a difference between like just reading a book and having, I don't know. There's, these are both great books, but this is going to hit your soul. Here's why. Habits. Compound World. effect. World. They're good. But this when you have like, a divine purpose, when I, you understand that greatness created you, therefore you are great. Uh, and when you can step won't be into your cry. purpose, I can't wait. I can't wait, actually. I, this makes me so happy to see this because um, I feel like you're stepping into your... I feel like you're stepping into it, sweetheart. This is going to be good. Buckle up because this next book is going to be great. And I hope you all know that um, hormones, that's what somebody said. Oh, you're developing hormones. <laughs> <laughs> no, here's, uh, here's actually, the reality. I talked to my parents about my emotions. You did? Mm -hmm. You want to talk about it? Well, they said I get my emotions from them because, okay, my parents are in the medical field. So my parents don't, my mom oh, said they're true. just so used to not, they're just so used to shutting them off because they see so many good things and bad things. But when you see so many sad stories and they've been in the medical field for probably 30 years, even when I was young, they just shut it off. They had to. And so my mom, I was talking to my mom the other day and I was like, Steve jokes that I don't ever cry. And she said, you probably get that from me because we didn't show emotion when you were young. But both of my parents, like we, my parents are incredible. Like mm -hmm. they love me. And they, I mean, I was just sitting in the airplane going, I don't have any terrible life experience truly to share. And then I thought, sometimes I get to this point where I'm like, I can't believe how great of a life I have. And then I went back and I'm like, my parents truly did some incredible things right. But sometimes I'm like, I don't, sometimes I feel like I can't relate to people because I really have. It wasn't perfect. It's not like they're perfect. 
Right. They are. They, but, they have done the best that they can. What I, but, but they've remained grounded. Right. And then I think if you can get yourself on track as an adult and as a parent, think of what you can do for your kids. So it was more of awareness of like, that's it. you're working on yourself, not just for you while it's for you, mm-hmm. but it's also for your children. So if you're here and, and it, let's just take it back to fat loss. If your goal is to get healthy and you figure out why you want to get healthy, you're modeling it for your kids so that your kids don't become adults and have to start all over again like you're doing. Right. So everything in life is like that. My, my parents did a really good job at just doing life in the best they could. And I only have like 90% of great memories. That's amazing. So I would just encourage yes. you, like take that, I'm excited to, about take that to heart because, I mean, you really do get to create your future. You're in charge of that. And the reality is, I mean, the big reason why we do a lot of the stuff that we do is because when I think about legacy and what we live for, it's for our are for our kids like we want to create we want to create a great future for our children right. and so if you don't have children and you're like oh that doesn't make any sense um it's okay you're going to step into that purpose well it's doing it for yourself too because there's other people that inspire you and that are around you or that you inspire so that's true each and every one of you have influence right. like it like it you are a leader like it like step into it Stop playing small because it doesn't serve anybody. And so the the biggest thing is, is when you have found that purpose, that God-given purpose in your life, that's when things start to accelerate. And at the same time, which I know we're going to talk about, sometimes often things like when you start stepping into that or when you're like, all right, I'm going for it. Guess what do you, what do you think usually happens when you step into some, some things? You meet resistance. And that resistance is key. And so we're probably going to walk through that, how sure. you break through that resistance and what that can look like. I think um, a lot of it has to do with handling your emotions. I'll tell you this. We made a big um, choice as a family to give uh, a gift. And when we did that, within the next 24 hours, we met resistance and were attacked on a completely different end in our life, but around the same concept of money. Right. And you know what we said? Ah, and we said, oh, it's so funny. We stepped out and we decided to make a big choice of planting some seeds. And then you're attacked. Like when you decide I'm going to go to the gym or I'm going to eat healthier, I'm going to take my life back. I'm going to do whatever it is I'm going to do. And then the next day something happens to where it just like wants to knock you off your feet. You have to come at that with a, I know what I just did yesterday. I planted some seeds. I'm not going to get mad. I'm not going to lose my EQ. I'm going to just take some extra time and fix it. I'm going to work through it. I'm going to bust through the wall. And so what had happened to us on the other end of trying to make us angry and frustrated has cost more time and effort to fix it, but it's fine. Yeah, like That's an opportunity to grow too. Right. And that's the great thing is when you face that resistance, as long as you can keep a positive mindset and you can work through it, you're going to come up with a solution. Right. So you're going to come up with a solution. Anyways, I'm excited to go through this book. So if you want to grab it, grab it. If you listen to the Audible, I'm, I'm assuming there's an Audible to you this You know what? One. Because you know? I appreciate Craig Groeschel so much, go buy all of his books. Like he's truly shifted They're all amazing. Our life. We've actually done one of them on here, the um, mindset one. <clears throat> yeah. I don't remember Winning what it's called. the war in your mind. Winning the war in your mind. Super great. So I'm excited to go through the book with you. Continue to tune in. Is it raining? No, it's not. It's just really beautiful. We're not used to being high up in the tree. Yeah, we're like so in we're the on tree. the like second story. We're, I feel like we're on like the sixteenth story. Of a log story. cabin. I mean, we're really high <laughs> it's up. It's beautiful. But um, we're in a tree. Like there's a tree. Should we show them? Oh, hey, yeah. We're What's actually going to go, gonna but I'm going to show you our view of the mountains in Tennessee. All right, and then. So, Instagram. Oh, yeah. Steve's on Instagram. Gonna go this way. See, he's going to show you. All right. Here's our view. If you can see it. Actually, let me just flip the camera around so you can see it. It's so beautiful. All right. See, while you look at all of this beauty, you're Yes. Away. Winning the war in your mind, Amanda. So great. So anyways, then, if any of you have been in Tennessee, it's gorgeous here. I see her. And oh. then it's, that's the most right. beautiful thing in the world. We're going to, we appreciate you all. It's going to be a great day. You should follow our stories because we are going to go do some crazy adventures. Look at how high up that is up there. You see how cool there's a house over there. I mean, there goes my alarm again. All right. We appreciate you all. Continue to tune in. Power of choices. Power of choices. Every single day. Every day. All <laughs> okay. of the days. We'll talk to you later. Bye.